Orca, 1977. A hunter squares off against a killer whale, seeking vengeance for the death of its mate. Directed by Michael Anderson, written by Luciano Vincenzoni and Sergio Donati. Released July 22nd, 1977. Terror, just beneath the surface. Here's the cast. Richard Harris as Captain Nolan. Charlotte Rampling as Rachel Bedford. Will Sampson as Umilac. Bo Derrick as Annie. Keenan Wynn as Novak. Robert Carradine as Ken. Scott Walker as Al Swain. Peter Hooten as Paul. Wayne Heffy as Priest. Vincent Gentile as Gas Station Attendant. And Don Red Barry as Doc Worker. But Orca, 1977. You know, what comes to mind is Jaws in 75. You have a killer shark. But now you have a killer whale. Now, I can assure you, back in the day when this was released, I'm sure a lot of people are saying it's a, it's a imitation copycat of the great white shark of Jaws. Not the same story, and of course, not the same creature. I never saw this film until earlier you know, last week. Um, don't know why I never saw it. And I really dig this one. Richard Harris is such a brilliant actor. He played Captain Nolan. And him, Keenan Wynn, Novak, went out on their boat. And the idea was to capture a killer whale. Well, he accidentally uh, nicks the male and hits the female. And he brings the female aboard the boat. The male's watching all of this. And the known facts about killer whales is they don't forget. They are probably the most dangerous creature in the sea. They can kick the shit out of a great white shark. No problem. Story goes, the male killer whale is very pissed off. And Mr. Captain Nolan was forced to uh, release the half-dead female into the ocean. Now, as I told you before, once the killer whale looks at you, he never forgets what you look like. So this male killer whale just stalks this Captain Nolan through the whole movie until finally Captain Nolan decides, you know what, it wants me out in the sea to fight it, then I might as well. And that's basically what the story is. Now, you remember Jaws Revenge, okay? One of the worst, probably the worst of the Jaws franchise in 87, to where they made it like Jaws just wants to come back and seek revenge against anybody or any living person who was involved in the prior Jaws films. That was hideous. Because sharks, to my knowledge, don't have a great memory. They have a small brain. I don't think they can remember anybody. But elephants and killer whales have the known brain capacity of remembering anything that it wants. And it's a vicious killer. Everybody thinks a great white shark is the biggest dangerous creature in the sea. Well, guess what? Not quite. Anyways, basically the film's about Captain Nolan and his killer whale go head to head. Yes, it kind of reminds you of the Jaws thing at the end with the boat. I understand that. Different story, different creature. I really dig this. I mean, it's it's a well put together film, well acted, well shot, great storyline, some classic great actors like Will Sampson, Bo Derrick. One of my favorite actors of all time is Keenan Wynn. You have very young Robert Carradine. As you all know, John's boy and also from the Revenge of the Nerds. It's like seven years later in 84. And of course, Charlotte Rampling is a wonderful, fantastic actress. So there you go. Orca, 1977. I really enjoyed this old school classic film. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7 out of 10. I quite enjoyed it. It was nice. It was interesting and brilliant. This is Gruesome Herzog. And... I'm out of here.